Oh, they recognise you for a minute. Oh, well, you know what they say. New life, new hair. Do you like it? Yeah, it's all right. Audrey's done a good job. Didn't get it done at Audrey's. Jeff treated me. He loves it. He loves running his fingers through it. Oh, well, I remember. Lloyd and Shadow, they've upped the offer on the house. I've accepted it. Oh. Well, you can't be surprised. No. And you'd rather it went to someone decent? Yeah. your mum before, I'll miss you. Good neighbours are out to come by. Why are you moving? <laughs> We're not. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I... I... <sighs> so my dad sold the house from underneath us. Oh, I, I, I don't know the ins and outs. I'm sorry. Love, I thought you knew. I'd, I'd never have... <sighs> Rise waiting. Have you got anything to say to Weatherfield to hand? Uh, well, well, there is one in the car. I, I, I could fetch it. Cottle House Crescent. Off Gardner Road. <laughs> you mean Crack Alley? Uh, oh, do you know, all I want is a two-bed place with a patch of grass where me and Sophie can feel safe. Somewhere clean and well-maintained that doesn't cost the earth. Is that too much to us? In Weatherfield. How about a two-bed rebuilt flat? New fixtures, new furniture, no character. You're welcome to it. I am going to stay in my room for a bit, but I was thinking on the way that just because I'm living at hers, don't mean that I can't stay at yours some nights. Especially when we've got classes in the morning. And speaking of which, you're cutting a bit of fine, aren't you? Your history starts in half an hour. I've been kicked out, Sharon. Of college. Yeah, and I've got other things in my life, haven't I? Like, Better things. I like um working in the kind of shop. Whoa, there's nothing wrong with Southpool. Too late. You breaking news I would have been broken. Yep. And I put a foot in it. Sold the house, have we? Cheryl and Lloyd have put in an offer and your dad's accepted. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's not the end of the world. I'm sorry, is he an echo in this place? And I've made a start on finding us a new place. Well, you see, that's good. Anywhere nice. Well, it's early days yet, but I'm sure I will. You're all right, love. Well, I'd better get back to work. We'll talk about this tonight, OK? I'll look after her. Thanks, Sean. See you later. Bye. Will be the end of the world, cos I'll probably end up in some dingy bedsit or some high-rise hellhole. Your mum? Sean, she always going on about how she loves the countryside. What if she ends up in the middle of nowhere? No, she's not going to do that to you. Your mum did it. She moved miles away. That was to be with you, sir. Well, what if she wants to live with Jeff? Well, then it's a result in it, isn't it? <laughs> no, Sean, I don't want to live with a stranger. What about if we get our own place? <laughs> yeah, I'm being serious. I could ask Sunita for some more shifts. You could carry on at college. I could maybe even get another job. We could look round the Northern Quarter. It'd save us getting the train back and forward all the time. I'm going to look at some agencies. Just imagine it, Sean, our own little place, done to the way we like it. All shabby and no chic. I've got a lesson in half an hour. You go in college? It's history. Well, what happened to looking after me? It's an hour's lesson. I'll forget it. So, go, Sean, don't make yourself late. <laughs> How cute was you when you was little? Yeah. Well, uh, not as cute as Chloe, obviously. You know Chloe, don't you? Your friend from holiday. Chloe Hughes. Yeah. So is this the reason why you saw off us getting a flat together? Because you've seen another girl? No. Uh... I'm off the idea of getting a flat because it's a silly pipe dream we could never afford. I have got a job, Shan. Even if it's just in a corner shop. Well, if I was seeing another girl, I'd make sure I told you first before I started advertising it on the internet. Is that all you can say? I text you all the time off my holiday. And I sent you postcards because I'm with you and I love you. Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it. 
Why? Because I don't think it's cool to chuck my life away for a rubbish job in a dingy bedsit. Because go on, you tell me what love is so fair. Going along with every scheme that you dream up between pricing tins of beans. Such a snob. Why is it? Do you think you're too good to do my job? No, I think you're too good to do your job because it's a waste of your talents. Don't try dressing it up, Sharon. Okay, if this Chloe ain't your girlfriend yet, she soon will be. Well, if you carry on like this... See? You're just as good as admitted it. Oh, do you know, you are mad. Go, Sharon. You can't be serious. Yeah, well, I am. Go. You are so going to regret this.